Um, okay, what else do we have? Any other suggestions or ideas? Any other thoughts in terms of what you'd, uh, what you'd like to see uh, happen in this particular park? Okay. A net increase. You want adult swings. Do you like create artificial shade? The trees are our way of doing shade, uh, Councilman. Another thing is, in the green area, maybe there be some little area where you can have kids plant things. So there'd be a topic of food and nourishment for, for improvement of diet, along with the exercise. We can't do like vegetables and zucchinis and stuff like that in the park. They're doing the exercise. Uh, sitting and, and there's no space at all for the people to, to, uh, to do any, any sort of exercise Sure, sure. So you like the concept of the gym. Excellent. Excellent. It's what? I'm sorry? This uh, uh, last this three. Yeah. This no? Must be stayed. This is three. Three. You want the trees. We, we will not take down any trees. No trees. We're not cutting down any trees. No. No trees. We're not cutting, all the trees are going to be there. We're going to add more trees. More trees. New trees. We like trees. We love trees. Folks were saying that the design right now is very confusing. We actually heard from some few parents who said that their kids tend to get lost in this park because it's sort of like a lot of different areas. They wanted really that if it gets redesigned, we can work on sort of a more of a clear, unobstructed view from different locations in the park. And that's East 17th Street sidewalk is terrible condition. Yes. And it's never fixed for 20 years, maybe. Whatever happened to you years ago when I was growing up, the parks there used to be the sea source. You get off and then the fat kid with the skinny kid would go flying. <laughs> opposite, you get hit in the chin. Lawsuits. The lawyers ruin everything. Happen, but we have a lot of exciting equipment. Sea source used to accommodate two kids in the same space. When you have some of this modern equipment, you can accommodate 20 kids in, the, in a much more adventurous play. Just think about it. If a cat comes in or a dog comes in and the dog poops, well, then now you got poop in the sandbox. And then people get sick. So uh, Nowadays, they do have outdoor ping pong tables. The problem is, where do you put the balls and the paddles? Um, are you going to have, like, like, for the small children, are they going to have, like, like slides that are not going to train? You can play soccer with your kids. So, really, when you look at it, everybody wins, right? Soccer is there, they're going to walk by and hit somebody. No, there's, there's, well, yeah, but that's the risk really in every park. I mean, right, any park you go to, if kids are playing ball, there's always a possibility they're going to hit somebody. We, I want to thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. It's a pleasure. I listen to your show Thursday nights. Oh, thank you for the plug. I have a radio show, folks, Thursday nights. <laughs> 7 o'clock, 6.20 a.m. on the radio. For those of you who still own radios, yes. Want to skate park. Is that possible or is it too late? A skate park. Skate. Yeah. So the, the issue, the, the challenge with the skate park is, and this is really, we talk about utilization of space. You know, unfortunately, we don't have in our neighborhood anywhere, anywhere in my district, and I represent Midwood, Borough Park, and Benzeners, we don't have big parks, right? So it's not like, you know, where you have Marine Park, where you've got this huge tract of land, and sure, let's set aside part of the park for a skate park, and the Marine Park, they have a nature reserve. I don't even know what that means, but apparently you go and you watch nature and stuff like that. And it's got to be finished already. Two years. Two to two and a half years. Two more years when it took us two years to get to this point, another two or two and a half years. Yes, it's government. Everything moves very slowly. So in your next term, that's when you'll get to enjoy it? You know, I don't worry about terms, and I, I you know, when I, uh, let, let me tell you something, when I, um, there was a commissioner of Marty, I'm not sure if you read this meeting, that one of the, the first meeting I had with uh, Julie Spiegel, who was the former uh, commissioner of parks, Marty might have been there, and we had a meeting, and I turned to the commissioner, and I said, Commissioner, I said, I'm, I'm going to fix every park in my district, and he looked at me, and he said, that's really, it's really cute, Councilman, but that's not possible, because it's going to take too much money, it's going to take too many years, and I said, Tell me how much it's going to cost. Were you at that meeting yes, or no? Yes, and, and, and the commissioner looked at me like I was crazy. He's like, fine, it's $15 million. I'm like, okay, we'll get it done. And at Baruch Hashem, here we are, we're five years later, and we actually have gotten $15 million in every single park in my district. 
Ocean Parkway technically is a park, right? It's funny, people always come to me and they say, why is it that before 18th Avenue and after Kings Highway and Ocean Parkway, Ocean Parkway is very poor condition? You know, I jog here, I ride my bike, the answer is because I only represent 18th Avenue to Kings Highway. So I renovated that whole stretch. But before 18th Avenue, it's not my area, so it's not renovated. After Kings Highway, it's not my area, so it's not renovated either. But that stretch is actually beautiful, and you'll see they're doing renovations right now. We have a park on Avenue P, we just did $2 million renovations. Friends Field, we renovated. Borough Park, we just built a brand new park in the back of PS192. Gravesend Park is being renovated every single park in my district. So I don't worry about when it happens, you know. It's not our job to finish the projects, it's our job to start them, and that's what uh, I try to do. What are the hours for this beautiful uh, The hours are the moment? standard of the same, which is basically dawn to dusk. Every park in, uh, am I correct, that every neighborhood park in New York City has the same hours, which is pretty much from the time the sun comes up until, the, uh, until it gets dark.